let us look now at the interrelations between some of the important concepts and parameters related to accuracy, precision, trueness and measurement uncertainty. And let us look at them with the aid of this interesting scheme. It has been published by a group of people in Accreditation and Quality Assurance in 2006 and it is a very good aid in linking these concepts together. So, let us start from this first column, the error column. As we've seen already in one of the introductory lectures, the total error, or simply the error of the analysis or measurement, can be viewed as composed of random and systematic error, whereby random error accounts for the random effects and systematic error for the systematic effects. Now, as we saw already in the very, very beginning of this course, the concept of error is an abstract concept because for knowing the error we should know the true value of the quantity which almost never we can know in reality. Therefore, instead of errors we usually operate with some estimates, with some parameters which can be regarded as estimates of errors. And so we move to the second column so, the systematic error can be estimated by trueness. So, trueness is an estimate of the systematic error. For knowing trueness, we do not need to know the true value, but we need to have a reference value, whereby reference value is a value which does have uncertainty, but not very high uncertainty. We will see later on how useful this concept actually is. Secondly, the random error can be approximated or can be estimated by precision. And there are different precision characteristics, repeatability, reproducibility, and there are different kinds of reproducibilities. And all of them are estimates of random error in the sense that in order to arrive at truly random error, we would need to make an infinite number of measurements, which we never can make. So, from finite number of measurements, we can estimate the error. And these two, trueness and precision, can be combined into the concept of accuracy. So, if a measurement result had good trueness and has good precision, we can say that this measurement result is accurate. Now, how do we numerically express these? Let us now look at the last column. Trueness is numerically expressed by bias, whereby bias is the difference between the reference value and the value that we obtain from the measurement. And precision numerically is expressed by standard deviation of the repeated measurement results. And now, it is possible to combine the estimate of bias and the precision standard deviation if they have been found in a correct way into measurement uncertainty. And this is something that we will also be looking at if we uh, go to the approaches for measurement uncertainty estimation. And there will be an approach based on within lab validation data or the so-called Nordtest approach, and that Nordtest approach makes directly use of this relation as is shown here.